Well, Governor, since six Hello. U.S. states have declared How are you state today? of emergency over rising I'm gasoline doing okay. prices, mm -hmm. My name is Rosemary. I just realized or found out about a year ago that I am an empath. I feel other people's pain, other people's energies. I pick up on energy so easily, and I literally feel people's pain, um, whether it's even animals, insects, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It was always troubling to me because I always felt, why do I care so much? Why do I feel so much? It's almost like it's a curse to care so much and feel so much. Nobody else seems to, so why do I? I will be walking my dog, and I'll see a bee dying, and I will just look down, and it's like I could own, it's like I it could get into his body and feel him dying and feel his pain, and I start crying. It's ridiculous. You know, if there's a homeless cat, uh, if I don't have food in my car, I will start, you know, flipping out because I have to feed this cat. When I see it firsthand with my own two eyes, that's when it's hard to just put it aside. These empath abilities. I guess I always had them to a mild degree before my accident, but after my accident and after I have recovered, I guess that's what's given me that extra sense and feeling and pleasure and just love for life. If you're healthy and well, you have your classic five senses, six senses being intuition. I don't know why that was, ne I was never taught that in school, which I'm sure you and you were never taught that in school either, about our sixth sense. But that's a very important sense. Now that is where our soul resides and lives on. Our heart, our mind, our body, everything that is our physical form relies on our intuition. Intuition, spirituality, you know, it's just all, it's from a higher place. Just be thankful. Being alive today, be thankful. And know if you're struggling today or if you're not struggling. If you're happy or you're sad, if you're depressed, whatever your circumstance is, I bless you and I just want you to know you can always better yourself no matter what. And even if you feel like you're at your lowest and that there's no way out, I promise you, coming from someone who's lived through it all, I promise you there is a way out and I would like to help you understand that, feel that, and know that. I can only offer you advice from all of my life experiences and knowing how I had to overcome things and what I had to go through, anxiety, panic attacks, um, depression, I've, I've been through it all. And yeah, my accident had 80% to do with it, and I think life in general is the other 20%. I want to help you guys. I had to fight and fight and fight to help myself and to make me overcome so much. And I try to help my family in all ways I can. I try to help, you know, the homeless, I can, if I can give couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. If the animals, there's a lot of cats um, in my neighborhood, homeless cats, and um, I feed them at night when everybody's asleep. I'll go outside and put food down for them every night, and they're very thankful. I know they are because when I see them in the daytime, they meow at me, and I know that's their way of saying thank you. Finishing up my cappuccino here at the Earth Cafe in Pasadena. Look at the little birdie. It's at, it's at the very bottom and the birdie is still going strong. His mouth is just open a little wider. It's so cute. I used to always go to Tender Greens, which is across the street. And then I started coming here and I was like, oh my gosh, why have I why was I going to Tender Greens all the time when I could have been coming to Earth Cafe? It's to me it's so much better, so much more healthier so much more yummy. I even ran into Mark Wahlberg one time. Um, well, and it, what happened is I was taking his face and it was so obvious it was him and, it was, and then he waved at me or kind of smiled and 
I was like, oh my God, that was Mark Wahlberg. And then I told my sister later that day, I said, Desiree, I said, I, um, I took Mark Wahlberg's space when I was finding a parking. She's like, uh, oh yeah, she's like, Mark Wahlberg always goes there. I read about it, that he goes to that tender greens a lot. And I was laughing. I'm gonna go home right now and see you in a bit.